So, what's good on my salty slices? That's Salty Pizza here, and today, people, today, I'm doing a a read through my old comic Destertica. As you can see, this is on my floor. Ten out of ten. So I was just just doing to draw my life, cause I mean, not a draw my life, a story time. I had the story time written out and everything. So now I was just getting some paper writing for it. And then I found a few of my, I found this in my old uh, book. Uh, it's another book. I'm going to do a read through of that too. It's a, it's actually a Pokemon book. But this is Destortica. It's a story that I'm still working on. I'm not sure how I'm going to like make it because I'm good at drawing fight scenes. It's just that when it comes to sword fighting scenes, yeah, it's it's not that good. And my style has actually changed from this style. So I'm going to be cringing a lot. Oh, I didn't even, the writing of it. There's, there's probably going to be like a lot of misspelling because I know I did not spell check or edit this. I mean, I did have like a few other promotional images online if I can find oh this is one of them have all of the characters like the werewolves like some some just characters that's in the story some of them you'll see in the comic I have another one but I don't know where that is but yeah I'm still kind of confused in how I want to tell the story because I started off with the idea of a superhero like kind of story like My Hero Academia but then that's when My Hero Academia came out in anime form because it was pretty much like My Hero Academia and I was mad once I found out that that was an actual show with like all the ideas I was going to use well not all of the ideas but a superhero society when you go to a school and you train to try to be a superhero yeah that's what I was that's what I was gonna do sadly I watched the show and it's good like the show is a damn good actually one of my it's actually one one of my favorite animes now so let's get on into it I don't know how I'm gonna record this but this is Destortica it's it takes place in like a medieval time. It's you can barely see it, but it says volume one, issue one, chapter one through three. This is the main character, Dante. I don't even think I ever storyboarded this. <sighs> and as you can see, like there's like dirt marks all over. So this age swell. So now let's ah let's... Oh, full color. If I was going to actually do like a serious comic, I would actually just like draw it online because there's no shading. There's like a mess of colors everywhere. I don't even know what this means. The title of chapter one says a billion years later. Okay. As you can see, like there's a little village right here on fire, whatever. No, mom, you can't leave me too. I don't even know if you guys could see this. Uh, well, I, I'll read it what they're saying. So, yeah, you'll be good. No, mom, you can't leave me too. Dante, I'm going to do voice acting, professional right here. Dante, stay strong, no matter what. Protect your brother and Caesar at all cost. Me and Caesar looked. We don't know where Kyle is. Just get up and we can find him together. So Kyle is Dante's brother. Dante and Caesar, this kid right here, they're not actually brothers. Caesar is adopted. But Kyle is his actual brother and Kyle is missing. Sorry, I can't do that, sweetie. I love both of you with all of my heart. Oh, wait. I just peed. She got stabbed. Oh, she bleeding. Oh, she gonna die. 
she gonna die. And she passed. No, Mom, you can't be dead. Please come back. Caesar, help me bring her back. And Caesar is just like, dog, she gone. We can't do nothing. This is all my fault. I don't even know. Okay, so he's he's waking up and he's like, ah! I don't even remember like what Dante did to cause this to happen. Cause I know like Dante did something to cause his whole village to basically be pillaged and attacked. But I forgot what he did. Oh. Ah he wakes up in his bed. Did you see like those little sun? The, this is this is this is lazy. I probably I probably won't even do something like this now. They got Caesar. The heck? Adult magazine. My G. My dog. Dante over there getting ready. Caesar, get up. Such a slob. Oh, he's commenting on the pizza that's next to his bed. Yeah, medieval times apparent. Oh. This don't have full color. I guess the next few pages don't have full color. Okay. Caesar is knocked out. Oh, interesting. Oh, he's looking at the magazine. Now he's all sweaty. Caesar wakes up. Caesar, what is this filth? Oh, wait. Caesar, what is this filth? Dante, when you reach a certain age, you you start to get get sudden urges. Oh, oh, that man was beating a little scooter. Okay, no stop. I have to think of I have to think of some things. Okay, while you do that, I'm gonna get ready for the festival. There's a festival, and there's a family painting right there. You got the dead mother, the dead brother. Then you got Dante and Caesar. I don't remember what happened to the dad. I remember I was gonna draw a, a father, but I heard, I, heard, I don't remember what I had done to him. He's probably dead too. Why do you keep staring at me? Oh, is he still staring at him because of the magazine? Hey guys. Oh, look at this, it's a new character. What's up, Nadia? Dante, are you finally gonna become a guard? I didn't know they had tryouts, but if they do, I'll try out. Mm. That's 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 some nice dialogue right there. You always said you wanted to become a guard. Is that how the conversation ends? The festival Malori Mountains. Ten out of ten. And we have a little monster right there. Wow, oh, look at him. He looks like Quagmire after he was just watching porn all day. Mom, look, it's the Lord. Yes, sweetie. That is the Lord. So I'm guessing they just, just transition. Oh. They might announce something. And we got them all eating at a cafe. Hello, all. Hello to all of the people who has just arrived and are interested in becoming a, a guard. Today... We'll be tr we'll be having a a circuit race for the festival. It should be for this festival, but okay. So <laughs> okay, hold up. I always had an issue with this, right? Cause I always like I always worked on like other stuff about the characters. I just never worked on how all of the characters were supposed to meet up. That was my main issue, because I never understood how I was going to do that. And I made, like, several other stories on how these all of these characters meet up. But, apparently, they meet up for a festival. To be honest, this is the best one so far. I can read back to I could go on the computer and read back to all of the other ways I thought about starting this. And this probably would, would make the most sense. Since he's the Lord. And as you can see like. 
pink hair. This must be his son. Oh, see, look at that in depth. Is that two? That's pretty sure that's supposed to be a 10. 10, cont 10 contestants will race across the village in the forest and race back here to this spot. The final four contestants will fight it out to become a top ranking guard. Well, and, hold up. Let me let me think about the logic of this entire festival so far. So this is a festival. Everybody eating. They're having fun. But the main event, the main event is everybody racing to become a guard. Okay, because that's that's how becoming a guard works. I feel like now I would probably put them through like a guard academy, but Dante, knowing his past, he won't be going through guard academy. Let me get comfortable. Okay. And to make it fair, and to make it fair, me and the other guards will not be participating. This is my chance. If I want to become a guard, I I have to participate. Hold up. I feel like I'm not going to get this in view. But I'll be participating. Oh, another character. But I'll be participating. That'll make it harder. Don't get cocky. You're still a novice. So, I don't think I ever, like, explained this. But this is Corey. This is Tristan. And this is Tristan's dad, which is the Lord of Malori. I don't think that would make Tristan a prince. Because Johansson is not a king. There's several stuff. Like, if I was to redo this, I would explain oh, it's going to be a long first chapter. If I was to redo this and go into detail almost on everything. But it, it wasn't supposed to be like a an action based story. Like yeah it takes place in medieval times. But it was, supposed, it was mostly supposed to be drama. And like action scenes like spread out. But I don't know how to create sword fights for the, for the life of me. So I'm pretty sure there should be a sword fight. There should be a few fights in there. May I please participate? Dante, you don't have to do this because because I said it. You know that, right? Well, hold up, Nadia. I'm sorry to correct you, but... <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. I should have, like, storyboarded and written this out first. Because literally, they talked about how Dante always wanted to be a guard. And now Nadia feels like, just because she said it, Dante wants to do it. No, he was talking about this before you before you mentioned it. Of course he did. Great. I would love to test what I learned on some punching bags. Yeah, keep talking big. Eventually, you'll meet your match. Punching bag. Oh, wait. Let me make sure this is in. Right. Punching bags. Trust me, I'll hit back. This man looking like Pinocchio over here. I feel like this was... Now that I'm reading it, it looks like it's supposed to be like a comedy. Nothing is funny so far. What the hell is up with you kids? Can't you hear? Can't you see I'm speaking right now? Wait, let me make sure this is in frame. Wait, wait, wait. Stop it. Oh, my Selena. I'm surprised all of you aren't great friends already. Anyway, blue hair, you're welcome to participate. The staples keep getting stuck to my carpet, which I hate. Dad, also, you have to advise that there are monsters on the track. Okay, that makes total sense. We'll just put throw monsters in the track. Where, as you can see, the village is literally right over here. Okay. Let's just throw monsters on the track. Yeah, you mean monsters like that? Oh, oh wait. Oh, wait, it's in frame. Honestly, green hair, do you really think we're that stupid on putting a mountain on putting mountain golems in the village? Mountain golems? Where'd that come from? Obviously from the mountains. Wow, what a great lord you are. So I I, I know I was gonna build up this relationship between Caesar and the Lord because it was something supposed to happen in the future where things got 
very hectic between those two. So I started off with them having like this little pessimist, uh, Caesar being pessimistic to Johansson from the start. Random female. Is that the same female that was talking to her child? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, nope. Too far. So this lady gets splattered. It, <laughs> it's so comp. I don't understand what's going on. Oh, he has like a little big... He don't even have a hand. He has... Okay. Dante, stop. It's killing innocent people. You too. Stop the kid. I'll go home and get my axe and Tristan's sword. Okay. Go down. I know you kids have a hard time listening. Stay put. Okay. I got it. I totally understand. He runs off. We're going to defy him, right? Of course. Okay, just wanted to make sure. I feel like... I'm kind of picturing this as if, like, it was, like, an actual TV show. There would be, like, a little cut right here. I feel like if I was to do this now, I would have storyboarded this way differently. Because I would never put this and this on the same page. Because when I do scene transitions, I would rather it be on a page flip. Like... Like, say, like, this was a whole conversation right here, and I wanted a scene change, I would just put it on a new page, like this, and, like, set, like, the, like, the setting, and then I go into detail, but I didn't do that then. We're gonna, oh, wait, I read this. I'm just gonna do a generic monster rush. What is that? Is that a rock? I think it's supposed to be a rock. He throws a rock at him. His reaction. Hey, follow me if you want to die. He didn't even scream, so I'm guessing I'm guessing he's supposed to scream right here. I just never wrote it. Oh shit, that actually worked. <laughs> oh shit, that actually worked. Pew. Bye. Oh, he just ran. See, look, see, this is, see, this is, like, this right here should have been, could have been on, like, one or two pages, and then I would have did a flip, and then I would have had these two talking right here. He's going to get himself killed. Yeah, he might. He also reminds me of you. Take that back. I'm nothing like him. Just look at his hair. Yeah, like you're one to talk about hair. Wait, wait. Don't you know that brown hair is common? I keep my hair like this to look to I keep my hair like this to be memorable. Wait. Oh, I thought Tristan was talking. Why did I put them in two different speech bubbles? Wait, Tristan is talking. So why is this Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. How about this? If you're the first one to fall by the golem, then you get a haircut. Okay. If you're the first to fall, then you have to fight with two swords for the rest of your life. That's that's a little bit dramatic. That's a little bit dramatic. I can't even see this. This is also another thing. If I was writing, if I did this now, I would not have a person right here and then have like dialogue right here because that's right on the because you can barely see this that's right where the staples are okay i'm cool with that i'm better with two swords anyway i'm better than two i'm better with two swords than you are yeah that's that's 10 out of 10 writing right there he's running in the forest yeah this is a forest this scene looks very awkward to me, and I don't like it. I hate this with a passion. This is my... So far, I hate this scene the most. Like, the four... Whatever. Wait, why am I running? I finally got it into the forest. So he's playing it off like, yeah. Yeah, I, I did that on purpose. He's in the forest. You'll pay for all the innocent people you killed. So... 
Dante was not originally supposed to be characterized like this. To be honest, he wasn't even supposed to care if innocent people got killed. He only cared if people died because of him. Because of the whole thing in the village. I don't know why I made him like that. And the sword is pretty small. The sword is supposed to be like at least bigger than his whole torso. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Sing. See, look, see, this is why I don't. You can barely tell. It just looks like he's blocking. See, now, if I was to do a sword, I would have made it like the sword over here where his hand is at over here. And then at least showed like the flash lines of the sword. Whatever. Ah! This looks like an entirely different monster. Well, crap. I like how I'm at 21 minutes and I'm at the first chapter. Jesus. Okay, I don't, I don't know how long it's gonna take. Wait, hold up. Not like this. Not like this. Then Corey comes to the rescue. Look at the swords. See? They're so tiny. <laughs> oh, it cut off his finger. Okay. So how was that? Just stop. That was one of my moves. That was one of my moves that I used the other day. They just come out of nowhere without saying anything. What are you guys doing here? Yo, blue hair. I'm going to need your help since you're the only one with a weapon. Okay. Dope. See, look. This is another issue. See? It happened again. A scene transition... Like this would have this scene right here would have been on a page flip. Like this would have been right here. Oh actually, I'm actually to the end. I might make this into like a multiple part series because this is This is already twenty two minutes. I'm gonna do a AS I'm gonna do a ASMR. How you doing today, people? We have Joe Hansen. Running, most likely running to his house. Then he runs into his house. He's panting, pants, pants, pants. Obviously, he's. Like, <gasps> then you have a new character right here. This don't even look like a character. It just looks like something pink right here. Hey, Dad. Then you have this lady. They're on the table. Ooh. Is there trouble? Can I please come, Dad? Amelia, sweetheart. Don't ask a question you already know the answer to. She's pouting like a child. Please act your age, sweetheart. That worked when you were little, not now. You just seem desperate. And that's the end of chapter one. So, that was chapter one. Of Death Studica. This, this could have went by way faster. Like, you open up with Dante. Let me do a, a critique. Um, You open up. Let me explain everything so far. You open up with this city burning. Dante did something to have his city village burnt up. His mom dies in the process. No, mom, this is uh, my fault, whatever. And then you get all of this shenanigans. Come I haven't I haven't tried to say this. Never mind, whatever. What reading a porn magazine and then continue going on. Everybody meets. They fight a mountain golem. Yes, a mountain golem. They get right. Or they don't get right. It's not even a fight. Bars. This is a. <laughs> I didn't even pay attention. This is a hand. Oh, wait. This is a hand. 10 out of 10. And he's crying because he lost his finger. This, so far, 
is the best drawn thing in this damn comic. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna do part two later. If you enjoy, like, comment, and subscribe. And as I always say, stay salty on my subject sites. And peace.